There are more than 400,000 NCAA student athletes. NCAA on campus is their story. Hi everybody, I'm Kat Anderson and welcome to NCAA On Campus, your opportunity to meet some of the outstanding student athletes studying and competing in the NCAA. During the past six months, the achievements of the United States Navy SEALs have captured headlines across the country. Their work 7,000 miles away in Pakistan and Afghanistan has made us all proud. So imagine the thrill it was for student athletes from the CIAA conference to train alongside these true American heroes. For our story, let's go to Ali Kolazinski at Chowan University. Thanks, Kat, and welcome to Chowan University. Chowan is located in Murfreesboro, North Carolina, in the northeast corner of the state, about 60 miles from Norfolk, Virginia. I'm standing here outside the Columns Building, which is over 160 years old and has been here since the school began. We're a Division II school and we have about 1,200 students. Chowan started out as an all-female school back in 1848 and went co-ed in 1910. In 2008, we made some history when we became the first non-historically black school to join the CIAA conference, which is the oldest black athletic conference in the country. This spring, we made some more history when over 40 of our football players participated in a training program called Mental Toughness Never Quit, a program conducted by the United States Navy SEALs. The program with them was to show them some of the teamwork that's required to do the kind of things that SEALs and SWIC do. Obviously, the, the leadership, the teamwork, the team building, the perseverance, all of those, and all those things are required on the athletic field. They came here to campus and presented a one-hour mental toughness, and it was purely about how to sacrifice yourself for a greater good, the team. That started the whole process. He split us up in groups. The first group went into the pool, other group went to the obstacle course. We use an obstacle course for agility, strength, mobility, team building, all of those kind of things that you know a good football team is going to possess. We have a water obstacle course as well as a combat training tank. We brought them there to show them the water because you know seals and swick, you know, that's our heritage. We jump from pretty much like a diving board on a, on a, a rope and we swing all the way across the water and, and like have to jump off the rope until like a long net that stretch all the way down. Seeing them run through it a couple times really kind of blew our minds how fast they could and how easy they made it look. The hardest part of the training had to be the mental part of things. It was different from football practice because it's non-stop. Like, you're tired. You got to fight through it. And that, the fighting through, is what these young men learned from the SEALs. What I learned was never to give up, give my hardest at all times, and you always have people behind you. Never quit, no matter how much something hurts, never know, it doesn't matter if you're up 60 points, no matter if you're down 60 points, no matter if you have a broken arm, broken leg, bloody nose, you never quit. When it comes down to um, crunch time in a football game, uh, a lot of people kind of fold, don't really want the, the, the pressure because they're, they're afraid of uh, making a mistake and, and messing up. But um, if you just get, if you're mentally tough and use the things that they taught us while we were there, you'll be one of the players that wants the ball. You want the responsibility in hand and you want to get the job done and you believe you can do it. I'm going to hold the rope. Uh, holding rope means no matter what, no matter how tired I am, how exhausted I am, my uh, team counts on me and I'm going to hold my end of the rope. I'm hoping every student athlete that went through that training can look and say, we all have peaks and valleys. And when those valleys hit, that their mind goes in gear and they say, you know what? I'm gonna get through this because I have a personal toughness that's gonna allow me to. The lessons learned on the obstacle course and in the water apply to the classroom as well. Adversity is always going to strike, um, regardless of what you're doing, whether it's on the field or in the classroom, or anywhere. You gotta set goals for yourself and really just push through it and you're not gonna like class a lot of the time, you know, you're gonna get bored or you're just gonna think it's too much and you just gotta keep pushing through it. They grew from a physical perspective, they grew from a mental perspective and they grew together as one. The opportunity to train alongside Navy SEALs provided lessons that will last these young men a lifetime and it gave them real heroes to look up to. 
those are some tough dudes. The Navy SEALs are a real, real tough group of guys, and I appreciate all the work they do for our country. We're just football players, uh, contact sport, but we kind of looked at them as above us because they put their lives on the line um, on a consistent basis. We think we got it hard out here, but they're doing the real hard work. We just doing it for football. They're doing it for life. They trying to survive. What we do here is we're playing a game. Uh, it, it, it's a great game, but what they're doing is, is life. Um, is, is they are protecting this great country. Thanks to everyone at Shawan University and a special thank you to the United States Navy SEALs for all you do. Before we end this show, it's time for a visit to the wall, the on-campus Wall of Fame. With their season opening victory, Wittenberg University in Springfield, Ohio, became the first Division II or III football program to reach 700 wins. The school won NCAA Division III championships in 1973 and 1975. And back in the day, way back in the day, 1894 and 1896, the Tigers won three straight football games against another team that now has over 800 victories, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Wittenberg University's 700th win earns them a spot on the on-campus Wall of Fame. That's it for this show. Thanks for watching and visit us often at NCAA.com. Until next time, make the most of your time on campus.